In this presentation, we're going to be looking at the reports feature available in PaperCut. So reports by default are made available to all system administrators, or you can selectively open reports up to a group of users. It's very easy to access reports. All you need is a standard web browser, and you can access and run reports from anywhere on your network. So PaperCut has over 60 pre-built reports. To quickly locate and identify the reports uh, that you require, we've grouped them into a number of categories. Uh, for this demonstration, I'm going to fill the role as a network administrator at a high school, and I'm trying to identify the most polluting users uh, so I can target them for an education program. Uh, of course, these will probably be staff members in the school. So, what I've done is selected the environment uh, tab, and I think this is a report that I'm after, and there's a show samples button, and this will quickly display a sample of what the report looks like so you can confirm. And yes, this looks like it's going to present exactly the data that I'm after. So the reports can be run over a number of different predefined date ranges. Uh, in this case, I'm going to run the uh, report for the last 30 days to see what's going on. The reports are available in a number of formats. We have PDF, HTML, and also CSV Excel. So CSV Excel reports will present the data in a raw format and then you can use this for any form of post-processing. This may, for example, is to take the data and present them visually as a, as a chart. Uh, I'm going to run the PDF report now. So immediately after clicking, the system will generate my report and I can see who my most polluting users is. Another option that's available in reports in the list is the ad hoc option. Now if I select this and run the report, before the report runs it will present uh, a screen where I can customise the behaviour of that report. It may be choosing a custom date range to run the report across, or I can filter the report to various subset of printers, groups, etc, or even change the way the data is presented. Finally, a last feature I'd like to highlight is the scheduling or emailing of reports. It is quite often that you have a favourite report that you like to run at regular intervals, for example, the first day of each month. Once you've identified these reports and are finding them useful, you can set them up to be automatically emailed so they can be delivered to your inbox automatically, or maybe the inbox of uh, other individuals in your organisation.